it. And turning now to Iowa, where in just hours, presidential contender Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is hoping to make his way onto the presidential ballot. Kennedy is already on the ballot in several states, including New Hampshire, uh, a key battleground state, of course. And the Kennedy campaign is hosting an event today in Des Moines, Iowa, in hopes of gaining enough traction there with voters. News Nation national correspondent Emily Finn is live in West Des Moines for us. Emily, what can we expect from the Kennedy campaign today? Well, Anna, good morning to you. That's right. Independent presidential candidate RFK Jr. is here in West Des Moines. What we can expect to see, there's about 500 eligible voters that are expected to gather here, and they're going to be signing a form to make sure that he will be able to appear on the ballot here in Iowa. This is something that he's been doing uh, on a tour across the country right now, making sure that his name is going to be an option for voters in all 50 states. His campaign has been collecting those signatures in 16 states so far since his big announcement bringing in tech entrepreneur uh, Nicole Shanahan as his running mate. She is going to be his VP for his bid for the White House. Now, we spoke with one of his campaign volunteers, and boy, was she fired up. She feels so inspired by Kennedy that she came all the way from Kansas here to Iowa to help out with today's efforts. Take listen to what she had to say and I've been spending way too many hours every week uh, becoming a volunteer and it's been so much fun and there are so many wonderful people that are volunteering for this man and to get him and I'm a patriotic American and I love this country and I'm ready for a change now, despite this excitement, some recent momentum for his campaign, there has been a little bit of drama behind the scenes. A recent shakeup with one of his staffers, Rita Palma. She was fired this week after she was caught on video telling Republican voters to volunteer for former President Trump and saying that her number one priority was to prevent a Biden victory. A campaign manager for Kennedy confirmed on X that Palma's contract has since been terminated since those remarks, uh, terminated for misrepresenting her job title and for the campaign's goals. But her firing does raise this big question that everyone's asking about Kennedy's independent campaign. Is he in a position to take more votes away from Biden or from Trump? Well, the former president doesn't seem too worried. In fact, he's been propping up Kennedy on Truth Social lately, encouraging him, uh, or encouraging Democrats, rather, to vote for him instead of Biden, calling Kennedy, quote, further left on the political spectrum than the sitting president. Trump has even gone as far as to say that he loves that RFK Jr. is running, and he thinks he's a better man than Biden. But it is important to note that uh, RFK Jr. is sitting about a little over 8% support in the polls right now, so quite an uphill battle for him to really take a significant amount of votes away from either Trump or Biden, but that's what he's hoping to do with events like today. That's expected to get started uh, here at 2 p.m. local time, so we'll be speaking with voters to get their feel about how they feel uh, ahead of November with their, uh, their preferred candidate, Anna. Great work out there, Emily. My dad is from Iowa. We love corn on the cob. Lots of family reunions there. It doesn't get any better, so I hope you get a little break while you're there and you get to enjoy some. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.